The clash over ideological influence, individual freedom, and the role of government is at the heart of today's fierce political and social debates. Senior Mike Lee speaks passionately to voters who are deeply worried about the creeping presence of government and the erosion of their personal freedoms. I think we underestimate, uh, as Americans, the extent to which we have been marinating in progressive messaging, which has elements of Marxist philosophy built into it from the time we could crawl. Uh, from the time we entered kindergarten, or whether you went to public school, private school, even many religious schools, um, and regardless of whether you, where you attended university, unless you went to Hillsdale or a couple of other places, more likely than not, you received a lot of conditioning with progressive ideology, so much so that we almost don't have adequate language as part of our lexicon to communicate the true purpose and function of government. And I think that's how we end up with this mess where we're $35 trillion in debt, adding to it at a rate of $2 trillion a year with no plan to get out of it because we've bought lock, stock, and barrel this idea that government's job, the federal government's job is open-ended. It's there to uh, right all the wrongs, to make everything fair. And that's all a big lie. And that's how we get stuck in it. But if we can reinvigorate uh, this idea that the constitution and the limited government it guarantees us is our birthright and that liberty is good, that government expands only at the expense of individual liberty, we'll be better off. Lee's fervent criticism of progressive ideals reveals their sweeping impact on American society. He warns that Americans are increasingly embracing progressive ideologies, raising alarms about the erosion of cherished traditional values and the growing dominance of government power. Psychologists note that Lee's relentless focus on the Constitution and limited government resonates strongly with those who crave personal liberty and financial responsibility. His stance underscores the conservative conviction that progressive policies have led to mounting national debt and bloated government, underscoring the urgent need for personal responsibility and the inherent dangers of an oversized government. 